Hello everyone, so I'm here once again making a haul video for you guys. I know my last video was also a haul and that was four months ago, but I'm definitely going to start um, uploading more. I have a couple of ideas of videos that I want to do, so hopefully um, you'll be seeing more of me. But today I'll be filming a haul on the makeup that I bought at the Makeup Show LA. I, I went to the Makeup Show on Sunday and um, it was like a field trip with me and my students from the school where I teach at. I teach at Cosmo Makeup Academy. For you guys that aren't familiar with it yet, um, that is also part of the reason why I stopped making video tutorials because I started working at the school. Uh, but anyways, it was um, it was a ton of fun. I got a ton of really good uh, makeup products. I ended up spending a little bit more than I maybe wanted to, but um, but there's nothing here that I regret buying. I actually regret not buying more things. Uh, but I'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I got, and before I went, I went onto the website and I saw all the different makeup brands, and I went onto each makeup brand's website and I created a list of all the things I got. I wanted, I mean, and um, I pretty much got everything on my list. So the first thing on my list was the Embryolisse um, moisturizers. And and these moisturizers this is in the this is the I took French but you know um, I don't know <laughs> but it looks like this it's just it's usually uh, white and blue but it is gold and black because it's their 65th uh, anniversary so I really really wanted to get this I know a ton of very you know um, amazing makeup artists use um, use these moisturizers. I heard high high reviews of these, so these were definitely the top on my list. So I got one for my kit and one for my mom. Um, so yeah, so I got these, and then I got the Hydra Matte. So this is for all skin types, and then this is to control oil. So this is for oily skin. And then the lady was kind enough to throw this in there. Um, this is the exfoliating cream. So all of these. These I got for $65. I mean, 60. I think just one of these cost 30 35 maybe. I'm not sure. But I mean, I got all of these for 65 bucks, so I was definitely very happy with that. Next thing that was also on my list because I've heard really great reviews on this from other um, makeup artists uh, is the Bioderma. And this is apparently hard to get. I've never tried to get it, so I'm not really sure. But um, but this is a makeup remover. So it's supposed to uh, remove makeup, and then it's supposed to, like... Um like cleanse the skin so it's a cleanser that you don't have to rinse off like it doesn't bubble or anything so you just put it onto a cotton pad and then you like wipe your face down with it and then she was saying um, it like doesn't strip your skin so it doesn't leave it like um, like all like sucked out a moisture feeling um, and like if you make a little boo-boo with the makeup you can kind of use it to erase it and it's not gonna leave the face like oily which is really important because if we try to put makeup on top of on top of it, it's not gonna adhere. Um, so yeah, and then she said you could use it as a toner, so to kind of rebalance the skin's pH level. So yeah, so it's this one's for sensitive skin. Um, so yeah, so I got this one. I got two big bottles, and then this little bottle came in here for free. Um, this is a 200. 250 milliliter bottle and then this is the 500 milliliter bottle and these three I got for $40 $40 I think she said one of these they there's a place where you they, they're selling it for 50 or something like that I don't know if that was true um, but yeah I mean I got these three for 40 bucks so that was very very nice as well um, next thing I got were some brushes so um, Sorry, I just dropped something, like always. Um, so the brushes, I got only, I got another brush. It's like a little glitter brush, but I don't know where it went. I just saw it and I lost it already. Um, these are from Crown Brush. So I got this really big fluffy fan brush. And I just noticed that like this side is like, it's like, do you see it? It's driving me nuts. I just noticed it. Um, but it's very, very soft. Very soft. Especially for the price. I think this was $12. Um, yeah, very soft. This is good for uh, highlighting, contouring, powder all over the face. And then I got this one. Oh, should I say the number of it? I guess I should. 
Um, it doesn't say the number on it. And then this one, oh, this one's really soft. This is almost like the 109 one, but better. This is softer than the 109. I've had, when I worked at MAC, I had two 109s. Um, and it was not this soft of hair it was actually pretty damn rough so this one is very very nice very soft feels very high quality um and i think this one was eight dollars and this is the c437 pro dome blender uh so this i would use for powder all over you could buff your liquid or cream foundation with this as well um contouring highlighting etc and then I got this blending brush because you can never have too many blending brushes. Even though I already have one like this. This is the C200 Deluxe Crease Brush. Looks like this. Very soft as well. It's more so of a pointed blending brush. And then I got this one which would be like a pencil brush for like outer corner V. It's a little bit bigger than the pencil brushes that I have because some of the pencil brushes that I have are way too pointy. They're almost too precise, so I needed something a little bit wider. This does not have a number on it. And then I got this one. Can't wait to try this one. It's a synthetic, very pointy, um, very dense brush. This is the C468 Smoky Eyeliner. So it's meant to smoke out liner, I guess, but I'm totally going to use it as a spot concealer, like to spot conceal. I can't wait to use it. So those are the ones that I got. And then again, that little glitter, uh, uh, like a plier thing from Crown Brush as well. And then I got some of these. These are the Delium brushes. Um, it's spelled like this. I know it's reflecting. Um, so it has a B at the beginning, but I guess the B is silent. So they are pronounced Delium. And I have also heard very, very good things about these. Um... From other makeup artists so first brush is this one this one is amazing and I don't remember how much um, they said that these were discounted off but I do believe they were discounted and um, I don't remember I don't know how much these originally cost but I got this one isn't this amazing you guys it's soft it's definitely soft it's definitely not the softest um, even that one um, which one is it? Co uh, crown brush um, is a little bit softer than this, but it's still very soft. It's, um, it has an angle, so this you can use for powder all over the face. You can use this like the tip to highlight, uh, to sculpt, do some contour, do some bronzing. Um, so yeah, very, very beautiful brush. This one is $14. So for $14 bucks for a brush like this, I mean, that's that's pretty amazing because when you compare it to MAC brushes, which is, you know, it's standard to compare to um, like compare things to MAC brushes. I mean, a MAC brush like this would probably cost anywhere from $42 to $50. They do not have any brush that is like this or even similar to this. But a brush that's this size um, from the range of MAC would end up costing that much. So, I mean, this is absolutely like super, super good. Uh, and then I got let's see I got this tapered oh and that one is called the it's the number nine 990 and then I got this one this is the 944 this one is a little bit softer so very very soft it's nice and pointed so again highlighting contouring not really blush because then it'll leave the blush all like like a circle and stuff um but yeah very very soft brush for like dusting away um you know shadow or applying under eye powder um just very very soft very beautiful brush this one was 11 dollars and then i have this one this is called the face blending brush it is number 940 and this one is very soft so again you could use it for powder underneath the eye to dust away powder for highlight um i don't know i just love this brush this is a beautiful oh it's so soft i just want to okay <laughs> okay and then i got two like flat foundation brushes well this one's slanted so this is a slanted slanted precision kabuki this is the 956 and the lady said that this was her favorite this is the best brush for foundation um it's very very well it's dense i definitely the other one that i'm going to show is a little bit denser um but it's still very dense 
and it has a slight angle so you can use this to apply your liquid or cream foundation if you wanted a super full coverage like powder application um, you can use this for contouring as well for cream contour uh, so yeah so this looks like it's gonna be a very very nice brush but I do believe that I'm gonna give this to my mom because I have another one that's very similar to this that I'll show um, later on so yeah so this is a 956 and then this one is a flat one and then that one was that one was $13 and then this one, this is the 957 Precision Kabuki. This one was $12, and this is just flat, and again, it's pretty dense, very soft as well. So again, liquid or cream foundation. So the denser the brush, the more um, pigmentation it's going to um, pick up, and then the more pigmentation it's going to deposit. So I would always recommend to go for the densest brush possible that you can find so that it can really apply your foundation in um, you know, in a very like high coverage way. And high coverage doesn't mean, or full coverage doesn't mean cakey, it just means that it covers everything that you want it to cover. So I would definitely recommend to get the densest possible brush. And then I got this one, and this one's in the yellow handle, so she said that the difference uh, between the black and yellow handle brushes is that they're exactly the same brush, same type of hair, everything. The only thing is that the barrel here, the other one is made out of... I forgot what she said but basically this one and you can I I mean you can even see it this one is made out of like real metal or something and then this one's like like not like you can see that it's cheaper and then these um, the black handle ones tend to cost like two dollars more on average so I would definitely recommend if you're going to purchase these brushes I would recommend just to purchase the black handle ones if it, they're only going to be a couple dollars more because of the material of this this brush is going to hold up a lot and my video stopped recording. So anyways, I was talking about um, this brush is going to hold up a lot better during the like during the years that I'm going to be using it uh, as opposed to this brush which it might like um, disintegrate a little bit sooner. But they did not have this one in the black handle. But again, very, very soft. It's almost like a natural hair like flat foundation brush and I absolutely hate flat foundation brushes but this one is natural hair so this is meant for powder um, so very soft it almost looks like a giant like eyeshadow packing on brush but this again for powder position powdering under eye powder to wither like wither away is that like a word um, I mean did I use it correctly like dust away powder um, blush highlight probably not contour but again very soft brush and then this one was I believe nine dollars and this is the 960 and again these are from Delium so I would definitely recommend to check these out because they look like they're going to be amazing again again I haven't tried them yet and next everyone's favorite I know it's my favorite the beauty blender so they had really awesome I think I got these at the namies booth could have been Nigel sorry um so I got these three so it has the pink the white the black and then the mini one which I haven't been able to try yet and then a small like a uh, brush I mean a sponge cleanser and I got this for $35 like $35 do you guys like are like each beauty blender is 20 bucks at Sephora. Like 20, 40, 60, and then these come in a pack, so these are like 10 bucks, 70, let's say this is like 5 bucks, 75, like I just saved myself 40 bucks. Oh my god, this is like absolutely amazing. I probably should have bought more because these rip, they don't last forever. Um, but you know. They'll still last me. Like, three beauty blenders will still last me a pretty long time. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely recommend everyone to purchase a beauty blender. The beauty blender is absolutely amazing. Um, if I had to choose the beauty blender between any brush, no matter how dense, how high quality a brush may be, I will always reach for the beauty blender uh, before. But if my beauty blender is dirty and I'm lazy, then I will use a brush instead. But definitely, the beauty blender is absolutely amazing. All those knockoffs do not compare. I would just say don't spend your money of them because I mean if you end up like you buy like one five dollar knockoff and then you buy a ten dollar knockoff and then you buy a five dollar knockoff like you could have just saved yourself all that money invested all twenty dollars into one original beauty blender and you would have had it you know it would have just worked out a lot better so I would definitely recommend um, for you guys to invest in this so again I know it's expensive but it's definitely worth it will definitely elevate the way that your foundation and your concealer applies so next is this foundation 
and I have not purchased it before but I have tried it um, I've gotten a sample of this and this is the Kevin Oqua the sensual skin enhancer and this foundation is like the most amazing foundation ever you guys like my excitement when they told me how much this cost I was like flipping out and this is one of the things that I regret not getting another one of because it's just oh man I'm so mad but anyway so this is the color SX11 and this is a cream product so you can use it as a concealer not under eye concealer um, like a face concealer or a very full coverage cream foundation but usually it is recommended to water this down so this little tub I mean it looks tiny this contains 0.63 ounces um, most liquid foundations, uh, like I would say 95% of liquid foundations, contain one ounce of liquid product. But because this is cream, uh, in theory, this may even be better or last longer because it is a lot more concentrated. So liquid foundation is liquidier, so to cover the same amount, you have to use more. Um, so with this, and especially with this, I mean the slightest dot, this is the creamiest, most pigmented foundation that I have ever tried. Um, and original price is $48. I got it for $28. Like the price of Studio Fix Fluid by MAC. Like what is this? Oh my god, you see I'm so mad at myself. But definitely beautiful foundation. Um, really nice colors. Some of them are a little... Uh, but generally very nice colors. I would definitely recommend that if you guys are looking for a high-end luxury foundation for like you know those special days and stuff this is not an everyday foundation okay nobody's trying to wear all of this makeup for like you know just going out grocery shopping um but if you guys are looking for like you know when you need um a special foundation for special nights out i would definitely recommend for you guys to look into this one because this is absolutely amazing uh and then the other foundation that i got is the celeb HD Pro and this is by Mayron and this one contains 0.9 ounces this is also a cream foundation and I had heard of this from Goss Makeup Artist um, he recommended this in a video a while back because of how much product it has and um, how inexpensive it is so this is almost one ounce of cream foundation which is a lot of product you guys this will last you for a really really long time and this thing was eleven dollars like don't some like at some stores revlon color stage doesn't it cost like 14 15 dollars at some stores like this is eleven dollars like physicians formula sonia cash it costs more than this um you know so that's just this is something that i would definitely recommend any everyone to purchase it's eleven dollars for one almost one ounce of cream foundation i mean i just can't like i can't get over it so this i actually purchased for my mom but you know i'll be using it should I have been swatching things? Oh no, there's nothing I had been swatching. I just showed this. Make but I'm not going to swatch this because I'm going to waste it. And I'm not wasting it. Uh -huh, but I can swatch this one because, you know, it was cheap. Uh, so you can see I got um, this skin tone sheet. Um, what color is this? Medium. Yeah, I guess it's called medium. So she's slightly lighter, but she does like looking a little bit um, like tanner. So I got this color. Looks like it's very blend, uh, blending very well. Uh, pretty emollient. I wouldn't say that it's dewy, but I wouldn't say that it's matte. So I'd say it's like a satin finish. So yeah, so I've definitely been trying this out, um, even though it's my mom's. And then I got this new NYX uh, color corrector palette. So this is really cool. When I saw it, I first saw it uh, with a student had this. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, NYX makes a color corrector palette. That's pretty awesome. So I guess, you know, like cheaper and brands are creating are getting more into like the color correction which is awesome because usually color correctors are, um you have to buy individually and they're pretty expensive well there's a lot of palettes but anyways they're usually pretty expensive so this palette of six color correctors was eight dollars which is pretty nice i haven't tried them out obviously um so i'll have to see if they're any good or not but i thought it was a pretty good deal oh i got hiccups and the next is the holy grail concealer am i holding it upside down yes i am um this is the holy grail concealer i i had bought one before i don't remember what color um but i had bought it before and 
it was amazing i mean this is an amazing it's called the radiant creamy concealer i got this in the color caramel and then i had gotten another color but they were out of stock of it so i guess they're gonna send it to me um but i mean this concealer is beautiful for under the eyes it does not crease it's very creamy it's a little dry and cracky under there um this concealer is 29 dollars, and that's pretty expensive in my opinion for a concealer uh but uh all of nars was 30 percent off so i got this for 20 i i guess it ended up being 20 dollars um so yeah beautiful concealer definitely highly recommended next thing i got is this uh foundation this is the face atelier ultra pro ultra foundation pro and this is in the color i don't know where the color is it says um this is 20 milliliters so 0. 0.68 ounces looks like this so it does look pretty small this is in the color zero plus but this is actually to adjust foundation colors so i also got zero minus but again they didn't have it so they'll be sending it to me later and zero minus is basically a straight up white color and then we have a very very dark color so basically what i would recommend is if your clients are in the medium skin tone range which most of my clients are like i'm an nc42 and most of my clients end up being being in that NC42 range um, so what you do is you buy mediums which is going to cover most of your clients right and then you buy the zero plus and the zero minus and you can adjust the foundation so you can make either make it lighter or darker uh, and it requires very little amount because this is very very dark and the other one's very very light you only need like a tiny amount to adjust it so this is not what you're gonna like slather all over the face you're going to use mainly a different foundation and then you're just going to adjust it which is amazing for people who at the beginning do not have the ability to buy you know the whole foundation range which you shouldn't be doing either because you should really be trying to mix colors and learn how to mix very well um but yeah so i definitely recommend this if you guys are looking you know to to not having to buy every single color and being able to create the color yourself and i believe this was twenty dollars so again it looks small but this is not what you're going to apply three layers of all over the face uh and then i got a uh contour palette so this is the highlight slash contour palette from rcma um and it has three highlighting shades and two contouring shades so the first one is a yellow tone and then i we have a pinky and then more of a peachy tone and then a light uh contour color and a darker contour color color notice uh the undertone of the contour colors it is not that like orangey nasty tan looking contour color which is um incorrect to do i understand i look a little orangey but that is besides the point um when you're contouring it should have a cooler undertone uh so this these undertones are actually perfect for contouring because they're not too too uh like ashy but they're definitely not warm at all so i would say they're a nice neutral undertone to contour with and this palette was 20 dollars, which is again very very inexpensive and then i got these these are the Smashbox step-by-step uh, -step contour stick trios. And these at Sephora, I was going to buy them. Like, I was like, oh my god, yes, give them to me. Like, they're super creamy. Um, I'll show you how big they are. Um, they're super creamy, very, very blendable, very pigmented, very nice colors. I was like, yes, give them to me. And then I just didn't purchase them, and I'm so glad that I didn't or else I would have been so mad at myself. Um, so they are $45 uh, for the three of them at Sephora, so that's $15 each. And I got them at the makeup show for $26. Bucks. Like, I am so freaking happy I didn't buy them.